last and first out is our last one we're gonna do. We're gonna find our cost of goods sold, assuming last and first out. With last and first out, we are going to assume our most recent or our last purchases we sold first. So we're gonna work our way from the bottom up, okay? And we are trying to count up 1,100 units that have been sold. And we know that we have 1,250 units available because we already added all of our total purchases and units together and found that we have 1,250 units available. We are trying to sell or count up how many it takes to sell 1,100 and we should expect an ending inventory of 150 units. And it's nice to know what your ending inventory should be before you start this counting process so that you can tell if you did it correctly. Okay. So we are going to count from the bottom up to get us up to 1,100 units um, that we will use to track our cost of goods sold. So the last unit in of 180 is the first out. So we have 180 plus 440 plus 380, which would put us up to 1,000 units. We need 1,100, so we need 100 more units. So we're going to split this last bunch. 100 units will be sold, and that will leave 150 in our ending inventory, which is what we were expecting. We are expecting 150 units to be in our ending inventory. So now that we have established which units we will count in our cost of goods sold, let's go add up the cost of those. This 100 units is times a dollar each, so that's going to be $100 worth of cost, not our $250. Okay, so $100 plus 608 plus 704 plus 306 as a total of 1,718. 1,718. We had previously calculated what our sales were of 2,090 that came